kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part six of my video series on trim video using FFmpeg library in Android Studio. Alright guys so that will be my last video of this module and after this module I will try to create a video series on uh, joining two videos uh, okay so let's get started so here we uh, we now will work with the service so first of all we need to extend it with uh, service and then we will have to uh, implement the, the method on bind and then here first of all we will be requiring some variables so first of all we will have to use the ffmpeg object and after that we will have the duration then we will uh, okay so here we will have the mutable live data and Alright, so here we will have the mutable live data so we can say mutable live data and it will be of type integer because we need to send the integer to our activity and here I we name it as per percentage and then we have to use the i binder equal to new uh, local binder and we need to create this local binder and after that we need to have the on start method we need to override and after that we need to have the default constructor so we can say public ffmpeg service and inside that we can have super and then we need to have some variables so first of all we will have the uh, string command string array to receive those values and then we will have the uh, okay so here we will have the callbacks we need to uh, in to, to we need to make the interface and we name it as activity okay so these two things which we first of all need to create so first of all we uh, can have the callback method so let's create the let me write that here we will have public interface callbacks and here we will have to update the client and in here we will have the float data and yes and here inside our this interface sorry I had made a mistake and here we have the uh, the, the method that is update client alright and after that we need to have another method and that will be public mutable live data and it will be of type integer and then here we can have the get percentage method and it will return the percentage so here we can return percentage all right now there is we need to have the we need to create a class and that class will be the local binder and it will extend with binder so here we can have so let me first of all write that and here we will have public class local binder and it will extend with binder and then here inside that method 
we will have the get service instance so we can say public ffmpeg service get service instance and this will return us the service so we can say return ffmpeg service dot this all right so after that uh, we can have another method and that one will be the register client so here we can have the method public void register client and that one will be activity and then we can say this dot activity equal to callbacks and here we can have this activity all right i think that is now enough now what we need to do is uh, we can okay so here inside our own create method we now need to load the library and also the percentage initialize the percentage object so for that what we are going to do is uh, we need to have the own create method and this is the method on create and inside this method we are going to first of all write a method to load ffmpeg binary and also then we need to initialize the percentage as equal to new mutable live data all right so now for the load ffmpeg binary so what we are going to do is now here we can simply initialize uh, our ffmpeg library so here we can say if ffmpeg is null and then we can say ffmpeg equal to ffmpeg dot get instance and we can pass this alright then we can have ffmpeg dot load binary and here we can have new load binary responsible handler and inside that we can have the on failure and the on success method so here we can add exception first of all and also let's have try to uh, have this with try and catch block and here we can uh, generate or implement the method and the first one will be the on failure and the second one will be the on success all right then inside and then we okay so i think that is enough let's just close it and then we now need to okay so so now inside this uh, on start command method uh, we now need to uh, on start command method let's have let me see if i have okay so here we can have the on start command method and inside this method let me just remove that and here we have in flag and in start id so here we can check if intent is not equal to null then here we can say duration equal to integer dot parse int and here we can pass the intent dot get string extra and here we can have the duration and then we can initialize our command so okay so here we can have the command as command equal to intent dot get string array extra and here we can have the command then we can also have the destination but i think it is not required now we can first of all load the ffmpeg library 
and then we can also execute it so for the execution the we can write exec ffmpeg command and then we have created the uh, the method for the execution of this command and uh, first of all we now need to uh, return the binder inside our own binder own bind method so instead of null we need now need to re uh, return the my binder and i think that is now enough uh, i hope you have understood something by which i have done if you have not already uh, if you have some problem so you just need to uh, do whatever i am doing all right so here inside this execute uh, yes ffmpeg command and then here we will uh, we can simply say ffmpeg dot execute and inside that we can pass our command then we can say new execute binary response handler and here we have a couple of methods so first of all we will have the on failure then we will have on success then we have the on progress and yes then we also have the on start and the on finish so here we have on start and finally we have the on finish method so before here we have the problem for the unhandled exception so now we need to add the exception here but still we are having some error let me see yes here we also need to add the catch block and okay so now uh, the last thing which is required is we now need to uh, use the on progress method and instead of, uh, and here we need to send the data back to our uh okay so here how what can we do is before that we can have inside this our own finish method we need to set the percentage to 100 so we can say percentage dot set value and it will be equal to 100 and then inside our own progress method we are going to have this string a double r then we can check if s dot sorry if a message dot contains time equal to then here we can set uh, yes so here we can say arr equal array equal to message dot split and we need to split it with time equal to then we can have string yellow equal to arr or first index then we can say string become uh, equal to yellow dot split and here we can have this method then we have this string equal to abhi kamha then here instead of this two we can have split and here we just need to have the space then here we will have string seconds equal to end yanda and here we have this as zero seconds then here we now need to have hard so here we can we can say integer dot parse int and here we will have the abhi kamha it will be of type zero index then we will have hearts equal to hard static 3600 then we will have the the integer minimum equal to integer dot parse int and here we will have a b comma of index one then we will have min equal to min static 60 
then we will have float second and it will be equal to float dot value of and it will be seconds then also we will have float time in second and it will be equal to horse plus min plus second and then finally we can have percentage dot set value and inside this value we can have integer and after this integer we yes here we will have time in second divided by duration and it will be multiplied by 100 and similarly okay so guys i think that is enough uh yes so now we need to go back to our own progress um, progress bar activity let's just close that and also let's just initialize this inside our main uh, android manifest and all right okay guys so this is the uh, that is it for now so i will also create another video and i will try to finish this project and if you guys like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye